Hi guys, the right wing will claim to be pro-freedom of speech, but as we know, they only support it when it's on a topic that they agree with. When it's a left-wing group, pro-European organisation, environmentalists or women's rights march, conservatives will try to paint a picture of either the entire march as representative of just a crazy element within it, or calling for the right to protest to be curbed. Here former Brexit Party MEP Belinda De Lucy, it seems, was calling for the latter. She also believes, it seems, that the government should regulate when people actually protest, and if they can protest at all. Have a listen. I think um, it is very naive to imagine these protests aren't going to be infiltrated by Hamas sympathisers, anti-Semites, uh, radical Islamists. Um, they are going to be the sort of feeding ground for those types to turn up. And I've met many of those, uh, the likes of them, places like Speaker's Corner over the years, they exist. And um, for me, it's about how are we making our British Jewish communities feel with these deeply insensitive, now very frequent, uh, massive protests that do include chants, that do include uh, people who have behaved outrageously, whether it's wearing massively offensive imagery of, of paragliders um, or chanting uh, with threatening slogans. Um, I think there should have been a time for mourning, at least out of respect, for the worst terrorist atrocity, the worst massacre of Jewish people since the Holocaust. Um, I, I feel utterly sickened that we have submitted to this. I think before the very first protest happened, the government should have come out very clearly and said we are going to have a time of mourning, a time of reflection, um, and, and at least give uh, some respect to the Jewish community who've been deeply wounded by this and who are frightened. I have many Jewish friends who are now frightened to walk out into the streets when one of these protests happened to be going on. It's the fear it cre creates. It's the climate of, of fear for our vulnerable Jewish community at the moment. It's not acceptable. And I think shame on us we didn't come out stronger straight away and say, not on our streets, not so soon after a massacre, we protect our G British Jewish community first and foremost. Well, isn't it interesting how the, the right wing are so quick to come out and say, we want to get rid of people's right to freedom uh, of expression, we want to get rid of people's right to protest. You know, of course, she's a member of the. She was a member of the Brexit Party that m managed to get rid of freedom of movement. So, of course, she's against people's right to protest. But who's she calling on here when she says "we"? Well, it must be the government because the public can't stop people from protesting. Only the government can do that. So, she wants the government to stop people from having the right to protest. Why? Because some people may be offended or some people may feel intimidated. Now, there's a difference between feeling intimidated and actually being intimidated because the latter is, is, um, is illegal. If there are people inciting violence, they should be arrested. And if there are the, res the policing resources available, they will be arrested. There's a difference between feeling intimidated and actually being intimidated. Now, she, what she's trying to do is say, well, because these protests attract very sinister elements, well, they should be, be cancelled. The vast majority of people protesting are peaceful. They also include members of the Jewish community in Britain. So she wants to stop Jewish people in Britain from protesting against Israel. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Because there are sinister elements, there are pro-Hamas people and Islamists and, um, and people calling for uh, terrible retribution. Yes, but those people always exist. You, you pick a protest, you pick a topic, and it will attract headbangers. But isn't it interesting how the right wing will never criticize protests that they agree with? So, for example, ULEZ. ULEZ attracted, the anti-ULEZ protests attracted very strange people with very strange ideas. Now, did GB News or the right wing criticize the ULEZ protest based on that? Of course not. I don't think they actually criticized the ULEZ protest at all, including its weird uh, elements. And it included people who were calling for very serious action to be taken against the London Mayor Sadiq Khan. 
But so when it's a protest that you agree with, yes, cheer it on. When it's a protest that you disagree with, well, we need to ban it because it includes very bad elements. Now, there is a responsibility on those who organize a protest to try and distance themselves from uh, from headbangers within those within those protests. You know, if you're holding a public protest, it's very difficult for you to exclude people who just turn up. But if you have the ability to to call them out and to exclude your organization from that, I think you have that responsibility. But you can't stop people from joining a protest, especially as if, if it's outside in the open air. But once again, you have the right wing claiming that they care about freedom of, uh, of expression, they, they care about the right to protest, when in reality they don't. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.